Hello everybody, Sift here again, and today I'll be playing Her Name Was Fire. Now I have played this game before, but in case you don't know, the game is a classic uh, roguelike survivor slash bullet heaven bullet hell slash power trip game, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, the concept is we're a fire mage and uh, we, you know, get better at spell casting, I guess. Now the last time I played, these did not exist. Now you can choose a starting spell. We have the classic fire that just shoots out the fire orb. We have the Gatling twig, which shoots like small fireballs and rapidly shoot during casting. Fire rate increases the longer you cast. I guess that means I should cast, uh, I should increase my casting time. And then we also got the Thunder Blade, cast a charge and swings Jolting Blade. We're gonna go here, Gutling Twig. Let's go with a Machine Gun build. And then you also choose what essence you start with. I only have plus one max HP, which obviously no, and 20% more damage. There are more that seem to be better, like this experience gain is doubled. But whatever, let's go with this, because right now this is the only thing we have. Let's go into no time limit and two servants per stage. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, timed, one server per stage. You know what, let's go here. Let's go two servers per stage and let's just start the run in denial. And this is our spell, the machine gun. This is our normal movement speed. And uh, yeah, we will begin just shooting down opponents and hope that we find something crazy to make a crazy build happen, you know, because that's that. Now, a bunch of things I had in my very first run are now locked behind um, a difficulty setting, I guess. Uh, what is it called? A meta progression upgrade or whatever. Shoots a wave of three bullets after every five casts. Five casts being, you know, that the thing fully loads. Uh, your sorcery has a 50% chance to invoke a sunburst on each hit. This is obviously better for us. And then dashing has a 50% chance to cause a fire that deals area damage. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go with a chance for a lightning hit. And you just saw it there. It's just like a lightning smack that appears from above. Sometimes I'm doing 7 damage. Seems to be some kind of crit. Now, uh, this in this game, you used to just cast the spell and then shoot it. Now you just f load it up and it shoots. Increase base pickup range. I always enjoy pickup range. Spawn an orbiting planet that deals damage, increases planet speed while casting. Well, I'm permanently casting with this run, so this is permanent orbs. And this is 3% chance of a 3 second speed burst after casting. Who cares about speed? There is also redraw. How many redraws do I have? Redraw 3 new cards, but receive a temporary penalization afterwards. Okay. And I can also skip. Now we're going to go here. Let's go with the planets. Okay, that's the planet. And if I don't shoot, it moves very slowly. But if I do shoot, it moves fast. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We got a nice little passive there. And now we also have the raining things from above. Continue picking up XP as all of these games have. As far as I know, there are no evolution or anything in this game. Yeah, here, look at this. A slow cooker decreases casting speed by 20%. I'm assuming the idea here being that the more, the, the more it takes for me to actually um, end the bar, fill up the bar to cast, the faster we attack speed. 30% chance for a 3 second speed burst. Pick up range. Go with the slow cooker. Let's go with the slow cooker. Uh, assuming that the slower I cast, the more the machine gun's gonna go off. Like, as far as I understand, when that bar fills, it's uh, it's considered a cast. Uh, but the longer it takes for me, for us to fire the cast, the more the attack speed goes up. It's as if every time I do cast, I actually reset my attack speed instead of getting anything better out of it. At least that's how I understand this. Uh, unless I'm wrong, which I might be, you know, dash through there. 40% chance to throw three hammers in the direction after your last cast. Okay, this this says casting. Uh, the chance to boost at the second planet. Let's go with second planet. Why not? That seems to be the most unique one. Uh, my life is over here at the top left. So as you see, we have three life all in all. And uh, yeah, that's it pretty much. The orbs feel pretty low. Oh, I, I was assuming that the orbs are going to be in the same orbit. But no, one orb is closer, one orb is farther away. This is the first game that I see do this. And here is the quote unquote class that we can get. So, 30% chance to deploy knives, which multiply a damage on each hit. Grants invis uh, invincibility while active. This here is a melee move, so the knives are around us. It's like a little circle, so I have to run into opponents to do damage. 45% chance of breathing fire for 3 seconds after casting. And 50% chance to release a volley of arrows after casting. Uh, I would say let's go with Hunter. Release a volley of arrows. Let's go full on into this whole idea of machine gunnery. And uh, hope those arrows are good enough. And we found a server. You just saw the arrows there. Seems like they have infinite piercing or something. Nice. So the, the arrows definitely fit in this whole idea of what we're going with. I'll attack for a while. Yeah, because it because it has infinite piercing. And we got the first servant to appear. Now, in general, you should definitely run towards the servers as fast as you can. Because um, the enemies and what enemies spawn are based on the time in your... I think on time alone. So the faster you go through the levels, the easier it's going to be. Increase movement speed flat out. Decrease casting speed even more. Damaging an enemy repeatedly has a 20% chance of causing a fire. Burned enemies are twice as likely to trigger the friction. Okay, we're gonna go for this. So the cur- Okay, so attacking an enemy has a chance to make a fire appear. 
And then if the opponent is burned, then they have a higher chance of making that fire appear. That's what I read. And that's what that does. It does not burn the opponents. It makes a fire appear. And let's go to the first, I guess, uh, mini boss or whatever you want to call these. The first pylon. And start attacking it as that is attacking us too. Uh, well, we also just move around in circles here. Machine gun. Nice. The arrows are really decent. Although they don't really do that crazy damage, but... At least they do some damage and also piercing that's more important than anything actually the piercing and that's it and as you see the flames are there so that has as i told you nothing to do with burning 10 percent chance to infuse enemies with a bomb for five seconds infuse enemies explode i like that gain max hp i don't care about that a uh, chance to throw hammers after casting now we're gonna get here infusion 10 percent chance to apply a burn on the opponents uh, as i said we are you know chance to do things based and not after casting based as uh, I, if anything, I make my casts happen slower. Uh, which is bad for the arrow thing, obviously. But let's hope we're gonna upgrade it because the arrow th started at 50%. Uh, your sorcery has a 20% chance to burst. Yep, that's the lightning burst. This is a third planet and this is movement speed. Let's go for let's go third planet. It seems to be the highest difference maker. In comparison to just a higher chance to do the sunburst thing, I think this is better. And we continue just destroying whatever we find in front of us until a new one of those uh, opponents appears on the map. Until the game's like, yo, go fight the next boss. And as you see, opponent now start blinking. And then when that blinking opponent dies, they explode. So that is what we got going on here with the uh, infusion effect. You see this guy blinking? And that guy's also blinking. And then they just explode. It's not really that easy to see, but it is there. And I just realized that it seems like you can pick up health that you can't actually use. So, uh, right now, I seem to have picked up the health that was there. What is this? Gatling twig, fire rate, and projectile damage is increased. Obviously, this Gatling twig is my weapon. Dashing has a 40% chance to cause fire. No. Dashing has a 40% chance to generate a spark. No, we're gonna go here. Let's go with uh, my weapon is better. Fire damage. Yeah, now we're doing 7 damage. Ooh, crazy change. <laughs> but still, it's good. Don't get me wrong. Would enjoy having some piercing, honestly. If I could have, like, piercing on my weapon, that'd be really, really, really good. But until that happens, we're just going to continue picking up XP. Of course, now that I see all this XP on the ground, I think pickup range is a thing that I need to get. Crawler. Movement speed while casting is increased by 20%. Okay, I'm permanent casting. This is really good. And pickup range. And we're going to go with movement speed while casting, honestly. Like, obviously, pickup range is important. But the faster I can move while I'm... Yeah, I mean, if I get this normal speed while I'm casting, I will be really good. Defeat server. Because I'm always casting is the main reason, by the way. Now let's go fight that server. I don't know what exactly the server is supposed to actually mean. Uh, I think it's like a, you know, an online server. So, no idea. Oh, new opponents have been have appeared. New opponents have appeared. I do enjoy farming for XP, by the way. That's what I'm trying to do. Not sure if it's the best thing to do. Not sure if you're supposed to rush through as fast as possible. Also, I'm not sure how mm, how long you're damaging immune while dashing. Gain one max life. No, pickup range is good, but Gatling twi Twig, fire rate, and projectile damage increase even further. Are we at 8 damage now? Or are we... Is that 10 damage? Nope, we're at 8. I really enjoy the fact that the dash is just straight up are insanely fast on the cooldown. I really think that that's a really good addition to this game. Let's go fight the server, honestly. I think the time has come. As I said, I should go faster than slower, he says, and then still does not go towards the server. Ah, Sift, man. One day you're gonna be doing what you're saying. <laughs> Let's run towards the server, honestly speaking now, though. It's at the top right. Would be nice if this game had a magnet. Obviously, it's not one of those games that, if you have orbs on the ground, you need to have magnets. Or at least some kind of magnet system in on place. Man, even more fire rate and projectile damage increase. This is the best thing you can get. Speed boost increase. Um... Yeah, pickup range. I mean, pickup range is the other thing I want if I was not getting all these damage ups this whole time. Wait, did my damage ups make it so that my other skills also do more? I'm not sure. An allegory has appeared or something. Hey, okay. where are you, allegory? Seems like opponents have stopped appearing too. Let's go pick up all the XP we have left behind. No real reason not to. I see the allegory chamber is supposed to be top right. I'll pick up XP and go. Go! Go, 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 go! Run, run, run! Look at the dash, man. The dash is almost non-existent. I really enjoy that they added this cooldown on the bottom so we can see when the dash is ready. I still believe they obviously should add more magnets, man. <laughs> the pick up XP thing in every single game. Imagine having double XP, man. What are we finding? What is this? The tower. 
Okay, that's obviously... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's obviously based on the cards. Uh, based on tower cards. Let's continue running away. Okay, tower first half is done, I guess. Maybe more than... What is this? Stay away from me. Oh, we got him. Oh, I thought it was up here. It was down there. His life was at the bottom. He had so much less life. What is this? Oh, I got a super card. A 15% chance of spawning a little sun that deals uh, area damage after casting. 15% chance to invoking a group of birds that fly away when approached. Flying birds deal damage to enemies. 15% chance when, though. Because if this is on damage, then obviously it's good. If it's not, uh, spawn a little sun that deals area damage. I mean, mostly my issue is area damage anyway, so I would say we go here. Let's go the sun. 15% chance of spawning a little sun after casting. Now, the casting part is not good, of course, but this does not say when it happens. 15% chance of invoking a group of birds that fly away when approached. We're gonna go here. Whatever. Let's go the small sun thing. Which I would like to see. Or not. We're gonna find it later. Whatever. Anger. We're going through the five phases of grief. I'm not sure it's called phases, but whatever. Where's the miniature sun at the palm of my hands? I don't see it. Maybe should have gone with the birds. Whatever. Is that huge explosion the sun? I don't think so. I don't think so. Repeated attack damage here with the flames on the ground. Oh, that's the sun. I saw it. Hunter. 75% chance of releasing a volley. Yes. 30% a chance for the flame thing. Increase movement speed. Let's go here. Let's make the hunter higher. So from 50 it became 75. I'm assuming it's gonna become 100 next round. Next level. And then maybe after that uh, it gets some kind of triple volley or something crazy. Would be nice. I'm not even sure if those things level up high enough. Uh, miniature sun. I love it. I love the miniature sun. Seems to be an arcane effect. Could have just said it, man. Could have just said it. Oh, we got hit. We actually got hit. Could have just said 15% uh, chance after casting to invoke... Um, to invoke an arcane effect from Diablo. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. And I, it's definitely not at this. I'm not trying to attack anybody here. I'm just saying. Uh, let's go on. Ranged opponents are always scaring me. Almost got hit there. By everybody and everything. I'm still waiting for the thing, though. What is this? Movement speed while casting at 30%. Pickup range and decreased casting speed. Yeah, let's go movements. Let's go pick up. Let's go pick up. I don't know if 40% is even good enough. Like, I really don't. Oh, that was almost get hit. Almost get hit material right there. I don't feel like I have good AoE. Should have maybe gone for the movement speed increase. On cast. A new server has appeared. I guess that's where we're gonna run towards in a bit. Nice. Everything's dying. Let's run opponents through. Okay, off to the server we go. Actually, no. Look how many opponents are here. That's a lot of XP. I think opponents never stop appearing, actually. Like, this game, for some reason, um, makes you feel like you're permanently having a lot of opponents to fight. Infusion thing, a laser thing, even more damage and attack speed on my weapon. I think the attack speed on my weapon is really good. And I really need to make the laser that uh, falls from the sky level up, so that it has a higher chance of doing those laser beams, especially with all the crazy attack speed I have going on now. Yeah, look at my attack speed, man. Attack speed, by the way, and casting speed is not the same. Uh, if anything, it's the opposite. It's the, uh, the, uh, the literally the opposite. And I got hit again. Feels like we're gonna lose. These, uh, well, the good thing is that the server is supposed to heal us. So, theoretically speaking, we should heal uh, on the server here. Please stay away from me, everything and everybody. Server time. I don't even know what the server does. Maybe it's a dangerous one. Maybe it's another easy one like the previous one where... Well, he definitely takes a million damage. So there's that, I guess. And he should also heal us, right? Yep, heal us. Very nice. A dash in there without a second thought. We obviously want that health right this moment. Oh, and new opponents appeared. And I think it's based on time because now we're at the 9 minute mark. And the moment we got the 9 minute mark, that guy has appeared. So there's that, I guess. Stay away from me. When these guys also start doing triple shots. Since when? Since when do these guys do triple shots? So first of all, the pickup thing, definitely worthless. Definitely should not have picked up movements, like, pick up range. And 100% of the volley, nice. Yeah, let's go with 100% of the volley. So that means we have a permanent volley effect going on. Uh, every time I cast, I should theoretically have volleys forever. So that means infinite piercing. On top of everything else that it means, you know, more damage, etc, etc. Is there no piercing for my shots? Is the piercing shots something that I have to unlock? 
I definitely remember having piercing shots the last time I played this. Uh, so... Maybe it's a specific upgrade for the other weapon. Because this weapon had that the twig has more attack speed. That obviously is a unique upgrade for this weapon. So, and more damage. So... Yeah, that means obviously that there is another weapon. Uh, you know, there are weapon specific upgrades, which is always good. I'm trying to level up here. I do not feel busted though, that's what I have to say. Oh, new opponents have appeared. Drifting, Blaze, your main ability is a 3% chance to apply a severe burn. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's go with this, 3% chance. It doesn't say, uh, it doesn't say after casting or something, so that means we just straight up have a severe burn now. And uh, that means that whoever is burned, when I attack them, they have a double chance of, of creating a flame on the ground. So that's always good. Let's go to the server. So actually stop playing around with when we go to the server. Because uh, the more we do that, the higher the chance we're gonna get hit. And also the opponents are becoming harder and harder faster. I need to avoid everything. Oh man, I should have gotten hit there, but I'm a god. I'm kidding, I'm not a god, but still, I was lucky enough. Let's go onwards, and we won. I wouldn't say that I'm a god by playing this game. <laughs> I don't think the game is that hard. It's pretty slow-ish, moving-wise. Uh, let's run real quick around and pick everything up that we can. Maybe movement speed is a thing that I'm, I should definitely upgrade. Like, this game feels like it has a lot of movement speed-based things going on. So, what I mean is that the balance includes movement speed, because there is more movement speed on cast, and there is also more movement speed flat out. So, feels like movement speed is really a thing in this game. Dash, dash, dash. It's faster than moving fast. Da -da. Let's go over here. Pick up that XP and off to the boss. Theoretically, we should do enough damage. I mean, as far as I've seen, we're doing a lot of damage, honestly speaking. Come on. What is this? The sun? Yep. Easiest guess of my life. Uh, I do know some tarot cards. Yep. That was an easy predict. I have my dodge ready. I dodged it. I dodged it again, and he's toast. He's the son of my life. And uh, I like that the sun... I... Wow, I thought I was gonna get hit there. I like that the sun do did the same move that I did. I enjoy that the bosses do the same moves I do. What is this? Shoot and recall skull projectiles after 5 casts. Shoot and recall skull projectiles after 5 casts. The sun again, 25% chance instead of 15. 5% chance to shoot 4 swords around after you cast. Uh, let's go suns. Let's go more suns. Let's stick to what we have. More suns feels better to me. Bargaining. Look how fast I'm attack speeding, by the way. And it is true that the later bullets, that the later attacks shoot out a lot more bullets. So I definitely want to decrease my attack speed if I can. Now I'm not exactly sure what makes the server up here. Like there isn't any bar that's somewhere visible on the screen that I maybe not see right now. That might make us, you know, cast faster and uh, not cast for blade. 50% chance to apply burn. Uh, movement speed is increased more. And uh, friction probability is increased. You know what? Let's go here. Let's go with uh, movement speed is more. I want to definitely have move up, like maneuverability. I, I don't think my DPS is lacking. Like the bosses just melt. So the only thing that might be lacking is me having life to survive. And uh, how do I protect my life? Well, by moving faster. Now you might say, but say if there is a max life option, why don't you go for that? Well, because if I move fast... I can protect all three of my lives easier than if I just had a fourth life, which is just one more life. So I think I think even at e even if you want to get defensive upgrades, your defensive upgrades should be things like you know dodge, um, defense, you know armor, and never max life. Max life is never the solution. Even HP region is always the choice. This game has none of these uh, stats that I'm mentioning, but I, I'm just you know talking out of principle at this point. Lasers. I have to say though, uh, and the good thing with the other weapons, most likely the blade thing, is that you want to go more attack speed, not less. Like this guy is the less attack speed guy. This this weapon is that you want as as little attack speed as casting speed, as little as uh, as little casting speed as possible, so that you increase your overall uh, duration of the crazy machine gun effect that happens when you full, yeah at the end close to the end of your cast. Excuse me, stay away from me, everybody and everything. Let's start going upwards towards the server. What is this? 55% chance to shoot a blazing feathers that damage enemies after casting. 1 max HP. Dashing has a 40% chance to generate the spark. You know what I'm gonna read right here? I don't know how long this lasts. The, 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 the penalty. More movement speed. 
And uh, more casting speed. Let's go more movement speed. What's the pen? Oh, okay. For seconds. Okay, sorcery damage reduced by 90% for 30 seconds. That's extremely killer. Movement speed is reduced by 50% with 20 seconds. Maybe double. Enemies become enraged for 15 seconds, doubling their speed. No, that's going to kill us. Let's go. We move uh, slower. Okay. I'm uh, still alive. Obviously, we're dashing as much as we can. This is, uh, this is death sentence, man. Death sentence city over here. Okay, we're obviously not gonna go to the server like that. Do you feel how slow we move, man? This is this is really really death death sentence city, and the debuff is done. So off to the server we go before everything becomes too hard for no reason. I'm gonna go back to all that XP later. I do enjoy that the opponents don't. Uh, ah, okay, I didn't get hit. That was lucky. I do really enjoy that the opponents don't flip flop instantly. Like they seem to be changing direction every 0.5 seconds or something. The reason why I love that is because, you know, in games like Brotato, the opponents just stick to you no matter what you do. Although Brotato doesn't have dashing, but you know, there are a bunch of games that do have dashing and when the opponents are literally magnetized onto you, oh, I should not have taken that health, by the way, um, you can literally not avoid them. Like, you, you dash. I, I really, by the way, before I say all that, Dev, please, 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 if you watch this, please, please, first of all, if you want to say something, you can comment down below and tell, hey, I'm the Dev, blah, 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 and I'm gonna pin your comment. But more importantly, please make it so that health is not pickable if you're full life. Um, like, because I would have left it on the ground there if I if I remember it for a second. So just punishing people for you know pick, trying to pick up the XP, almost got hit there, is not really fun. And in general, it's not fun to pick up max life while you're full life already. And now he's gonna make it so that it stays on the ground. And now you cannot pick it up, but it stays on the ground for one minute, which by the way is not the solution. Please just allow the life to be there. Let's stay away keep everything at bay but yeah in games like these where you have a dash and you can dash through opponents uh, opponents should definitely not instantly just change direction like you dash through them and they're while they're running towards you whoops you just change direction and hit you in mid dash 40 percent chance when the last cast no probably friction that's the flame on the ground let's go with even less attack speed so that um i can get even more attack speed at the end of it i mean this this is so weird by the way having less attack speed <laughs> on purpose uh, but it is what it is man that's what the weapon is so, I don't know how many attacks this adds, by the way, because uh, as I see, there aren't really that many different cards. So, I, I think there should be literally a, a, a fixed amount of how much DPS this adds, right? Like, uh, the fact that your casting lasts one more, se like 0 0.5 more seconds, because that's the difference, honestly. Like, the fact that the cast lasts 0 0.5 more seconds, how many attacks does that add? How much DPS does it add, like, flat out calculating it? Like, the fact that that lasts 0 0.5 seconds, you attack for three more times within that time frame. Does that add, like, a, a decent DPS? Or is it, like, almost no difference? Because if it's almost no difference, then obviously that's a trash upgrade and I shouldn't take it. Uh, I, I can't possibly know if it is a trash upgrade or not. And uh, we are done here. Bye-bye, Pylon. This is a very powerful one, by the way. Uh, I'm destroying most of the things I'm seeing. I don't think that the Pylons should be so weak. I picked up another health, which I didn't really need. Uh, I mean, what I'm saying is not that the pylons are weak and they should buff or get buffed. No, I'm saying that I don't think that the pylons are so weak that I'm destroying them. Same goes for the bosses, especially boss actually, because the boss are getting destroyed. Allegory chamber. Yeah, I'm on, I, I'm in the wall. Shoot wave of three bullets after five casts. First percent chance to infusion. Yeah, that's the explosion thing. Yeah, let's go with increase the chance to infuse them with fire. I would have enjoyed the laser thing, of course, more, more but this is also decent. Let's see what we're gonna find. I'm gonna try to guess what this tarot card is going to be before I see it. One. Okay, looks like a devil to me. Yep, easy. <laughs> that was obviously very easy, if you know your tarot cards. And also, I'm watching uh, Jojo lately, by the way. I see everything on the ground. Is that his move? Just things on the ground? Okay, boss is dead. Well, that's easy. Next. <laughs> I also have a million flames on him. Give me the XP, please. Let's see what we get out of this. Another level on the sun. Oh, what is this? 30% chance of casting three sorcery spells instead of one. Oh, we're gonna take that. Gatling, uh, I can take this from somewhere else, the Spagatina. Gatling fire rate and projectile damage increase. We're gonna go here, 30% chance of casting three sorcery spells on one. Can I see this in action? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, definitely yes. That's a yes for me. That's a 30% chance to do triple, uh, double damage, uh, triple damage, depression. Depression. Nice, now we have more machine guns. And uh, does it go split up more if it's close up and less if it's far away? I don't know, no, I don't see any difference, honestly speaking. 
So this means we have a chance, yeah, like, as I said, this is literally 3% damage boost if it shotguns somebody in the face. Because that's how it works. Not, not, no, 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 it's 60% damage boost because it adds two attacks. If it added one attack, it would be like double damage, 3% of the chance to do double damage. But this is 3% of the chance to do triple damage. Or I guess two, two more times your attack. Yeah, it does triple damage at the end of the day, so. It is nice, it is nice. Once again, would be nice to have infinite piercing and just pierce through all of these, but alas, I cannot. Uh, I do enjoy this thing on the, where we have like flames on the ground, and then those flames also add to the damage that we do, and then uh, half the attacks are, you know, debuffing opponents with that explosion thing. I also enjoy the fact that you can reroll your upgrades for uh, extremely big downsides, which, I mean, maybe the big downsides are a bit too much. Like that movement speed was borderline, I'm gonna die. And uh, the other thing was also very dangerous. The um, Everything was dangerous. Like 90% uh, less damage done for 30 seconds. That's literally you do zero. Pickup range is 70% increased. Okay, infusion is even more. Casting no longer affects movement speed. Yes, we're gonna go with. We no longer move slower at all. Nice, nice, nice. Infusion would also be good. Don't get me wrong. But as I said previously, uh, survivability is an important aspect in these games. And uh, the best way to get survivable is to just um, increase your ability to avoid hits, not to increase your max life. So this is one of those. Or even, uh, or the other choice is always to, if you get hit, you don't actually lose real life or you don't lose that much life. Those are the best ways to mitigate damage. Trying to activate the boss fight. Nice. That's machine gun again. There are some click issues in this game. Stay away from me, please, everything and everybody. Want to destroy the boss, please? Look at the machine. Yeah, the boss is toast. <laughs> this is busted. We are OP. We are OP. We just destroy everything. This time, I'm not gonna do the same mistake I've done all the other times. I'm just gonna do... I'm gonna go here in a circle. I'm gonna pick up a bit of XP from the boss. I'm not gonna pick it all up. And then, I'm gonna pick it up before we go to the next boss or something. Or if we lose life. But for now, we're gonna be circling around <clears throat> the, that health in the middle with all the XP around it, too on everybody down. I really enjoy my arrows. They are weakening the opponents enough that it helps. Like, the, the fact that they have infinite piercing really helps out. So, we get that infinite piercing through that. And we also got our masses upon masses of, of explosions that happen once in a while. The lasers aren't really that often, but it is what it is. Like, everything just helps. There isn't anything that covers the whole screen that destroys everything. But we do have, you know, a little bit of damage from the flame, a little bit of damage from that, from this, even more attack speed. What is this? Cast increase your movement speed by 10%. Okay, okay. Dashing. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna go here. Let's get even more attack speed and even more damage. That's obviously gonna help pretty much everything. From uh, applying bombs to applying burn to doing more damage to everything. Literally everything gets affected by this. And this is, of course, really good. I don't see how we can possibly lose at this point, unless, you know, I, I get damaged immensely. And I also don't know what the bosses do. Yeah, forget that. I, I obviously cannot imagine how we can lose, because I don't know what the game has to fight us with. <laughs> it's it's like, a, it's not a, it's not about the, the fact that we're busted, it's about the fact that I don't know. <laughs> it's like, um, the, the, uh, the statement is true, but not for the reasons you might think. Okay, let's dash through once again. Now we're going into very simplistic circles. And another server appeared. Okay, now that the server appeared, we're gonna just run over there to the server, and then we're gonna rotate back and pick up all the XP that we have left behind. That shot there is gonna hit us at some point. You know, moving faster while shooting would have been a good idea, I think. The server is somewhere else, in another castle. I somehow missed the mark. Here it is. Bye bye everything. Okay, dash please, nice. Almost got hit there. Maybe even should have gotten hit, but whatever. Dash away. And let's destroy the server now. Zzzup, server super dead. Now he's flaming, now he's flames on the ground. Bye bye. Okay, and now we will fight a lot less opponents. So we're gonna run into the server, pick that up. Let's go pick up the other XP we left behind. Other great chamber at the top. It is what it is. We're gonna take here a while just to go in circles. 21 minutes, pretty decent. I'm gonna just go pick up my XP. Uh, chance infusion, nice. 30% chance to get a speed burst, that's movement speed. And then dashing has a 40% chance to generate a spark. And we're gonna go here. Infusion with the bomb. That thing is pretty decent, especially with the crazy attacks we have. Still gonna help us in the boss fight, but whatever. Here is all the XP that I want to pick up. Let's go. I will continue continue going further and further down the XP rabbit hole. Ooh, look at this. Why would I leave all that behind? I'm not sure if there is like a system that magnetizes everything at the end. I, I think there should be. 
I think there really should be some kind of system like... Uh, you know what the simplest thing would be? That the second pylon, uh, the second server, when you kill it, it gives you a global magnet. I think that would be really simple and clean to do. Because honestly speaking, like, th this does not add anything to the game. Like, the, the fact that I have to go around and pick up the XP, like, it does not add anything at all. Okay, this is going to be death. Found it in time. This is an also very easy guess. I need to see the projectiles. Easy enough. Easy enough. Easy enough. And death is dead. Well, that's easy. I guess I'm playing in difficulty one or something. Yeah, maybe I'm playing a new game one or something easy. Death. Shoot and uh, recall skull projectiles. Or higher chance of flame. Or movement speed. Yeah, let's take this. Every five casts. What does every five cast look like? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, and then after five casts, it gathers them up. Is that what it does? Oh, that's so stupid. Well, it's weak. Acceptance. But maybe it's strong. Maybe the skulls that stay around, like, sit there, and then whatever touches them dies. If that is the case, then obviously it's decent-ish. I'm gonna hit here a bit too much. Yeah, and then they come just back. Uh, but look how many flames we have on the ground here. We should be pretty good to go. So let's try to pull them through the skull. Yeah, it seems like the skull is just staying there. And if they get through, they just lose life. It seems to be the case. So the coming back part is useless. Uh, or bad, I guess, depending on how you see it. But the going out part is good. Maybe they should come out on their own. And then on five stacks, you shoot them. Like, maybe, maybe uh, when it pulls them in, it shoots out new ones on the spot. Because there is no upside on shooting them out. Let's go here, increase movement speed. 15% or 10% when I cast. I mean, 15% is just better, right? I guess these two multiply with each other, but I don't have this at all. So, increase cast speed even more. Let's go with movement speed. I do want my movement speed to be higher. I already feel like I'm getting a bit pushed back from opponents. Like, I, I do want to start being able to just avoid without needing to dash. Because right now, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm very close to if I don't dash, I will get hit. Uh, if I find the thing that gives us movement speed when I cast, maybe I'm gonna take it. Although it feels obviously less, it gives 10% instead of 15 that the rabbit is giving. But if that 10% multiplies with the 15% of the rabbit, then maybe it's better. Actually, it can't be better because 10% of 15 is 1.5. So that's like 11.5 movement speed instead of 15, which uh, yeah, by definition is not more. I don't know exactly how exactly it's you know calculated. Server has appeared. Let's run towards the server. Um, yeah, let's just go in a line downwards. Go fight the server. Zigzag through here. As you see, opponents do actually speed up. They are a lot faster, to be honest. And I get hit. Oh, I did not get hit. Okay, for some reason, I guess the dash is actually pretty sizable damage immunity. Very nice. And the boss got destroyed, man. The boss got destroyed completely. The server, I guess. Not the boss. There is no boss. I didn't want to pick up the health, but whatever. Let's go pick up our old XP that we left behind. I will get hit here. Maybe not. I am yoling a bit. I am yoling a bit. Yeah, I am going a bit zigzagging through everybody and everything. Maybe play a bit more careful. Flames on the ground are gonna carry us around. <laughs> I have to sink for some weird reason. Oh, still alive, still alive. I haven't lost life yet. Once again, a bit sad that the whole health system is how it is. Come on, whatever, man. Whatever. I have to say, though, the skulls from death, pretty decent-ish. Ish. As I said, I don't like the part where they just come back and for a while you don't do anything with it. A, a, ch a chance to burn is nice. Pickup range is also nice. It's always a chance to burn. At the end of the day, pickup range is like a good old who cares mechanic. And uh, if anything, I can alleviate the pickup range with more movement speed. So, it doesn't even matter. Opponents are going faster, though. So, I guess it's one of those games where opponents become faster as a, as a difficulty setting. So that, uh, you know, they hit you. There are obviously games that have that as opponents do more damage as a system. But this game does not really have damage, so to speak. It's just hits taken. I guess that's a design choice that's mostly um, creating those problems. Like, if there was life and HP, you could make the opponents just have more life and do more damage to you. Instead of just moving faster. Uh, but it is what it is, man. It is the design of this game. 
Pretty simplistic game in general, by the way. Okay, let's go to a server. Dashing through, I will get hit, I will not get hit. Okay, everything behind us is gone, so let's destroy the server now real quick. And server's dead. Dead! Let's also destroy the guys chasing us. And let's run towards the XP we just missed. Real quick. Gas, gas, gas. Yep, nice. Continue picking up XP. I told you this system has no bearing. There, there is no upside in this system. Nice. Oh, come on, more. I'm doing a full circle here. Let's go. Maybe there is a system that gathers all the XP, by the way. Also, opponents definitely move faster because I'm taking this whole time just running around and increasing the timer. And the more, the higher the timer is, the harder everything becomes. Uh, but you know what? I don't care, man. Why are the skulls there? Give me the skulls, please, back. I want to have them ready. Or when I get to the boss. Okay, skulls are coming back. Okay, let's guess what this is before it uh, says the name. I don't know. I had to say it. I, I would have guessed it if I had like three, uh, three more seconds. Because the wand really looks like a hero wand. But uh, obviously I did not know. So I should have just said I don't know right away. You see, I even knew that I didn't know. And I won. Because I got frozen. I got an achievement the hero fund, I got an achievement the Sand Survival, and I got an achievement Gatling Trickery. Okay, we did one. High score, 976. 976 received. Level 26. Did the level literally add 26? Is that... I hope the level did not add 26. Um, yeah, we won. We won. And now there are cards here that you can unlock. Like, as you see... Um, yeah, th these are all the cards in the game. Yeah, this card, what is this? Phantom Fireballs no longer reduce their... No, no. Uh, here we go. Here. Fireballs go through enemies. Yeah, this has to be the Fireball upgrade. Right? And then there is increased casting speed, which we never found. Well, we did find decreased casting speed. So, I guess you only find upgrades that make sense. What else did we never find? This is the thing. You know, Gatling Fire thing. Oh, this. This, for example. High voltage. Your impacts from Thunder Blade. I before this chance to electrocute kill enemies. Yep, that's that's like the other weapon. So there are definitely other upgrades based on what we what weapon we have. But as I see here, there are a few upgrades only. Uh, or, by the way, please have them be like one, two, three, four, five level, and then you like click over here, click, 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 next, 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 so that it's obvious how many cards are in the game. Because this is such a lie <laughs> that there are so many cards in the game, and so many upgrades. Then we got the allegories. These are the bosses, I guess. Sun, death, we fought those. Devil, we fought him. Tower, we fought it. Hero fund, we fought it. Magician, we didn't fight. Okay, we just didn't fight one. And as you see, you can spend Metal Regression Currency to be able to find these in your run. Instead of having to go specifically to that uh, boss that drops you, you can, if you have the Devil leveled up, then you can find it in the run itself. 70% chance to get that. And I'm assuming that if you unlock one, it unlocks all three. Because uh, this costs 10, 10, 10. This costs 12, 12, 12. So I'm assuming that... That 12 means the whole card. And then also there are specializations. Uh, there are only three in the game. Uh, yeah, we had this. We had the hunter. And then there was the dragon, which I did in my first run, if you want to see that. Uh, and then the editor. Don't forget the card on the top right. And then uh, Berserker, 3% chance to do deploying knives, which multiply damage on each hit. So uh, th that's also a thing. And uh, yeah, I guess that is it with this game. Maybe I can do one more run uh, tomorrow if you guys enjoyed this a lot with the Thunderblade. Uh, uh, by the way, I'm not using Metal Progression because I want to buy this. I want to buy experience gain is doubled, 3%. I'm not sure which of these two is harder. Time 15 minutes, one serve, a server per stage. Or uh, I guess this is a rush. I guess this is a rush. Let's try rush. Let's try rush. I lied. Let's try rush. Uh, actually, did I lie? You know what? No, forget it. Because I don't know if people actually want to watch this or not. I Maybe maybe I do tomorrow another run, okay? If you guys enjoy this, if I see that people like it, uh, I will do another run. So drop a like so the algorithm picks the game up. Let me just show you what the Thunderblade looks like in case you guys want to see it. Here it is. Boom. Boom. You see? That's how normally the game goes. Normally, you just smack... Uh, at the very end when you cast. That's how it normally goes. And it's like, boom, boom, boom. You know, it's an AoE melee attack, which doesn't even one-shot opponents. So this is the other move. If you want to see a run with this, comment down below. Tell me about it. Drop a like. Make other people, you know, also uh, want to see more of this. Look at this attack speed. I might be coming. You know, I told you I'm, I'm watching Red. Um, <laughs> I'm watching, um, uh, what is it called? Jojo lately. Anyway, that's also why I have uh, some uh, intricate knowledge of tarot cards at this point in my life. Anyway, uh, that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as I said, drop a like outside the channel and also with algorithm. So maybe if, if more people watch this, then it increases the chance for me to play this. I'm, I'm being honest here. I'm like a human being and this is 
practically my job. So, uh, you know, it is an important metric to say. It's not the only metric. I do enjoy the game. I don't think it has that much replayability. Maybe I'm going to play another run regardless of if people watch this or not. Because there is only one more weapon to showcase anyway. So maybe I'm going to do that tomorrow. But uh, we're going to see, you know, if, if this tanks and nobody wants to see it, then I'm not going to push it. Uh, there are so, 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 so many other games that I can play. So, um, yeah, it's on you. Want to see this or want to see something else tomorrow? We're going to see. We're going to see. At the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's the only important thing, to be honest. The, everything else I talked about doesn't really matter. Thanks for all the Patreon and membership supporters, as always. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.